Hey guys, welcome back to my Neo 2 video walkthroughs, boss fight guides, and I'm going to be showing you how to defeat Ryoman Sukuna. So basically you want to go and attack this thing just to the left of you to get uh, your weapon equipped with the buff. And depending on what you're versing, you want to use that buff. So it has two as a fire and an ice side, and you want the fire side to while well, it's ice, and you want the ice weapon while you're versing its fire side. Now it's good just at the start to do this but I found that these crystal things get destroyed pretty easily and it's better just to once the fight gets going just to focus mainly on doing damage to the boss and it's good at the start to quickly buff your weapon but these things will get destroyed and you're basically going to have to be able to defeat the boss without that extra buff anyway so it's better just to focus on getting good at blocking it and dodging its attacks. Uh, always keep a distance. As you can see I got pretty uh, badly hit by that move. I wasn't doing too well at the start of this fight. But you want to keep your distance. Go into one attack and dodge out and it will do this uh, melee move that you can dodge out from quite easily. And you can even go in for another attack straight after it does that move. So once again I'm using the Odachi weapon, which is my weapon of choice for boss battles. And I use a sprinting mid-stance strike each time on it. It's fast and does decent damage and it's got quite good reach. So these arrows can be quite annoying, you just want to have to sprint to the side. You'll be able to dodge them. And then once you've used up all its key, you can just keep attacking it until it goes into its enraged yokai form. And like always, you will recover less key in this stage of the fight, so you want to be a bit more conservative with your attacks and let your key recover, because you do have to sprint to safely dodge these arrows. And they do quite a bit of damage to those arrows if they do hit you, so you do have to be careful. So the boss will just be more aggressive and do a few more lengthy combos in this stage. Like other bosses, so you do just need to be more cautious. But you just need to be patient. Uh, definitely sprint to the side when it does that um, burst move. You can try and burst counter it. So I found it easier just to dodge. Normally burst countering can take a little bit of practice to get the timing right depending on what move it is. And when you do have it right. Uh, especially on bosses it might not necessarily stagger them for very long so you only get one hit in, it, in anyway. So I find it easier just to dodge some bosses, burst moves, and then just go on for a single strike and get some damage in. So slowly your whittle the uh, boss's health down. So you want to run away from those uh, ranged attacks. And obviously that melee move is a bit more lengthy than its usual ones, so you need to be careful. I tried to burst counter that unsuccessfully. So like the ice projectiles, like those flame balls, you just want to run to the side and forward, and your character will avoid them quite easily. And go in for a single strike after the boss attacks. I probably could have burst counter that move. So when it fires the arrows in the air, you need to be careful not to get hit by them because they do a lot of damage. So 
so you need to be quite aware of what's going on in this fight because you've got you can have this projectile arrows and then the boss immediately attacking you all there's three things all at once so you need to be sort of aware of where those arrows are while also avoiding the boss and its other attacks And this is the third and final enraged yokai realm form that this boss takes if you've been damaging him enough. So once again we just stick to the same strategy. Avoiding the boss's attacks, going for single strikes and slowly getting its health down. And the boss should go down. So thanks very much for watching guys, hope this video helped you and good luck out there. Cheers.